This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another video, and today I'm doing again a little bit of this because I received these for Shard, this guy, uh, or she, this girl, yes, and uh, yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to it, except there's a lot, the, like half this set looks to be, uh, you know, the window decals, I really like the clear plastic, so I, I'll remove it if I don't like it, but I'll, I'll show it to you guys, uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, I love these, I can't wait, I, we need a red, and orange uh, repaint, kind of a lava look. Uh, there's already two Magnus uh, repaint, uh, Nucleus and that one with the Pirate Thundertron pack or something. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping for at least one red repaint of this girl. But before I do the review, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And now let's roll the intro. Quick glance before we apply the decal, Shard is a very good looking girl from the start. She has uh, nice eyes, uh, the face sculpt is very interesting, a um, bit of insect pin uh, pincer here, uh, so that's cool. Uh, you have, uh, I love the translucent uh, green, uh, kind of a jade or emerald uh, look to her. Uh, I like the three tones on uh, the shin, a uh, little gunmetal on the arms, the belt, um, you know, the weapons. It's a very, very well painted figure or colored plastic figure. Although here you have some, you know, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, degradation or, you know, paint like fading. Uh, from yellow to green, so I, I like that. Um, I I like her as she is, but uh, the decals will have some... I'm always adding some H, man. It's the accent. Uh, the uh, decals will add uh, more mechanical parts, so that's interesting. Uh, there seem to be a lot of pin covers and a bunch of uh, eye decals and... I'm not sure which color I'll want to use. There's red, blue, and or green, blue, and yellow. Or is it red? Again, colorblind. It's in the intro. Uh, so, I don't know. I think, yeah, I, I think I'll go with the yellow ones. They look really good. And, you know, since she's not an Autobot or a Decepticon, she doesn't have to be red or blue. So, yeah. And then you have what appear to be the window decals and another bunch of pin covers. Wow. Didn't realize she had that many pins. So I'll try the decals. If I don't like it, I'll remove them afterwards. But for the review, I will show them to you. So there you go. Final look at shard before the decals. Okay, let's start with what's left. Uh, pin covers here. But I did use most of them. Because uh, there's another series here. And you can use the others, but it's kind of overkill for like smaller pins. But... Uh, and on, on this sheet, I don't know why, but they're harder to peel off for some reason. Uh, and I do have some leftover eyes. Now, I used uh, yellows, but I did, I don't know why, but I put a red one and a yellow one at some point uh, without realizing that I did it. So then, uh, I don't even know where the red one is now. Anyway, so that's what's left. Figure itself looks really good. I love the uh, the details. Um, what you get, like you have the new eye decals. Um, I, I think the yellow fits well. You see the new uh, stickers. Hard to apply because they go, like there's a thin slit between the rock cover and the, the shield, uh, the window. So you have to get it in there. And this one here was 
particularly difficult and very annoying to get in. Uh, you have details here on uh, the forearms. You have uh, two new belt decals. Uh, nothing for the actual crotch. You have two decals here and a, a third one here. Um, and then you get this one here. And honestly, both in robot and alt mode, you put that shield here. Um, so you lose the decal. I, 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 yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Um, I wouldn't have made a decal for that. I mean, unless, you know, it's for people that want to, uh, you know, display it like, cause you can't really put it here. Um, there's no really good other spot unless you move the cannon and, but then the cannon you're, you know, you're going to what place. I don't know. You could put the cannon here, I guess, if you want to, and then put this here. But then you have that piece that prevents you from, yeah. I don't know. I would not have put decals there. But I mean, it's it's your toy. If you want to display it like that, there's no problem. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, well, lots of pin covers, like in the back of the legs. Uh, you have. Uh, over here um, if you want you can uh, put some directly over the screws but it's it doesn't really work well to, they don't glue well on on screws you have pin covers in the back here oh you have uh, the decals here but you know uh, and then this one is kind of misplaced because of or misaligned because of the the, the space you have to navigate uh, in between to be able to get it in there so it's just a little annoying and I have to be honest, my eyes were acting a little crazy for the past week. Like, it, so they're always kind of watery. So I, that didn't help either. So anyway, so there you go. Final look at Shard after the decals. And now let's take a look at her in alt mode. I'm in alt mode before the decals. Very interesting. I love what they did here. It's like she got sprayed with rocks and they just dried in the wind. Love it. Spins real good. Um, nice tail. I like the asymmetry of it. Uh, the end sticking out. A uh, bit of a bummer. Or maybe I placed that wrong. Uh, no, I don't think I did. Alright, so I like that. I like the, like I said, I like the clear windows. You know, kind of dual cockpit. So, yeah. Loving this. But we'll see what happens to her when we apply the decals. And here we are in alt mode, and there's really not much to add in alt mode except the windows, uh, which I have to say I don't like. I'm I'm probably gonna remove them. Um, I prefer the jade look or the emerald look. Uh, but you do have a decal here um, that you have to you know apply uh, when the uh, blades are off, and you know the, this covers the. Uh, the one that you have here. A uh, couple of things to notice are pin covers, pin covers, and you know, there's a couple all around. And that's about it. I mean, the decal, it's only five bucks, so it doesn't add that much. Um, I think the robot parts are uh, interesting, but uh, mainly the paint pin covers are fun. I always love those. But I don't think the windows are that great especially the the fact that they're hard to apply that's a little annoying but anyway i still like this set it's just it's not going to be one of my uh, my favorite so there you go guys that's my review of uh, the toy hack set for shard uh, legacy united i love the figure it's a great look can't wait for the red repaint i hope you know we get one maybe blue blue, blue might be nice so there you go um, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.